Thank you for watching Not My Bag. If you're watching this, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're listening, give a five-star review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. What I want to do as well is take it back for maybe the viewers, because, you know, a lot of people know us from TikTok. There's a lot of people that I speak to that don't know people I grew up with. Yeah, yeah um, absolutely. Like I did Summertime Ball with Capital last year. Right. Saw Mel C and I was like, oh my God, it's Mel C and Spice Girls. And people are like, who's that? Yeah. Wow. I'm thinking, what? Yeah. Wow. So for you guys starting out, just mm -hmm. to let people know at home, <laughs> Cause so your cousins, yeah, yeah. Them two are cousins, they're cousins, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cousins. So, so, first cousins, first we've cousins. got the same second name. So tell me about the start, about getting together, because it must, it's such a different era now. You can kind of like start making music online, mm -hmm. make a name for yourself, and come yeah, up like that. But it was so. such a different time. So yeah. tell me about like the starting off. We we basically we it was quite, we didn't know how to get out there in the world, but then we realized we found something on on Sky three sixty. Mm -hmm. uh, eight channel and it was a channel you it was a it was a, a kind of a, a channel where you could send your video in right and, and they you liked you they would spin you every couple hours and, and for us it was like that was like national tv really yeah and at a time know. where there was not much yeah. internet and we didn't have tiktok and social media and stuff mm -hmm. like that Any, anyone that like predominantly like urban -y type of music mm -hmm. would always go to that channel Fine. to be able okay. to see the 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 street videos and etc etc so and it, it was like tiktok or, right. like, or, or like, like a, or like a your YouTube. Own, make your yeah. own videos and put them up. So that's we, so we started sick. shooting our own music videos. Yeah. We were editing we, them ourselves with our friend George. Oh, yeah. Really? Shout out George Burke. Our first Come video, on. we strapped Big a camera George. to a trolley and rolled it down Camden High Street. I love that. For a crane shot type of effect. I love that so much. Yeah, but I've done that before on a skateboard. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. That. You've got to make do with what you've got yeah, in that just, moment. It was, yeah. it's, it was the old school TikTok. <laughs> yeah. So what are your thoughts on, on the TikTok? Side of this. No, I've been ranting about this recently, haven't yeah. I? So you're like, enjoying, I, you're enjoying I, it. What I love is the artists. Yeah, you could do so much. What, the yeah. artists that are coming out and getting so much shine, artists that I feel like I look at them and a record label might be like, oh, they might not have the look or they might not have this yeah. or they might not have that. And they wouldn't otherwise have the opportunity. And through TikTok, mm. I'm hearing these incredible musicians, incredible, yeah. just, you know, those genuine people picking up a guitar busting out songs and literally harmonizing over their own stuff, live press and record. You're watching yeah. them doing it, layering, layering, mental, and putting out incredible songs. There's a song I'm literally waiting for the drop just off the back of TikTok. I'm I, like, when's it coming out? Yeah, when's it coming like out? That as well. I always <laughs> look at artists and they say like, you know, if, if you get this a blow up, like it could come out and it's decent music. Yeah. But it's such a different graph now, isn't it? Compared to what it was. And yeah. TikTok's almost turned into like a label mm -hmm. as yeah, well. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But it's your own label, which yeah. is the best part about it. a lot of people doing independent stuff now, which I think is is great in that yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. what's that her name's hannah something and she does that i'm a god da, da, da. So it's called i'm a god i don't know if you heard it it's always like maybe it's just all over my algorithms my like, yeah. it's but you know what everyone's got different algorithms yeah, right? yeah. mine's a lot of food and dogs <laughs> as well yeah mine's just like yeah. motorbikes and and jewelry and stuff it's funny isn't it like, when you go on someone's tiktok and you're like oh like this is you as a person if you ever want to find something out about someone just go on their tiktok and scroll yeah yeah you'll you find i'm not gonna i'm not gonna show you mine <laughs> so, so what's your advice for like someone coming up in the industry or new artists because you guys have built a very successful career full of like longevity as well mm. and you've all equally done your own solo mm. things as yeah. well mm -hmm. so what so have you got any advice for people that would be yeah, trying to trying, trying to make it I can't say try and when you're when you're building a foundation build something that can in 10 20 years can be remembered and if you want to have a break and you can and if you want to come back again in 10 years later on hmm? they'll, be, they'll be just as happy as they was when you first came yeah. out again it's uh <laughs> When you're, when you're, okay, little trick, little tip. Let's say uh, for us, we say she, he, and uh, in, in, in lyrics, mm -hmm. she done, he done. But I'm saying, if you want to range it out to everyone, you don't say she or he, and you say they. Yeah, yeah. Um, we. We. Yeah, keep fine. it open, keep and it them, versatile. And that yeah. way, you, a girl can sing it to a boy, and a boy can sing it to a girl. So yeah. Yeah. little, thing, little things like that. Lot, though, and that's it's, what... It's, like it has changed yeah. so much, yeah, but I feel me. you. It's now more it's like, open that like music isn't just focused on like a, a gender perspective. Mm -hmm. now. I don't feel like yeah. I feel like it's open to, to yeah, literally. Well. It's got to just somehow be timeless. Can yeah. can can you sing the song and will it make sense in twenty years from now? Let's yeah. say rap, rap. You can rap, but when you're rapping, you need to it's up to date current stuff that you're rapping about. Yeah. Otherwise, you're you're not with it. You're not with it. So mm. it's just like but but writing a song now with melody and things that can help you. Again, end of music is like therapy. That's what we yeah. say. We literally, yeah. it helps you. 
Yeah, uh, cool. If you, yeah, so if you're going for it, if you're, yeah, yeah. so the best way you yeah. should have released this song for me like months ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> horrendous breakup. I, Where's wait, it been? I'm waiting for people <laughs> to message Where me the going, fuck I, it been? I broke Trump. up with my partner in February, and no, this I, is the perfect actually, song. I think I. I is did. it for you? I did. See? It's for you. I did we break did. up with someone in February, yeah. Is it, um, what, Thank you so much, it now. guys. It actually means a lot. Yeah. You're going to go listen back to you, This is you? why I've been banging it for two days See? now. Yeah. Subconsciously. February is a cold time to leave someone and a lot yeah. of people get left in after February. Valentine's Was it before or after? Yeah. After. Yeah. after? Did you yeah. splash on Valentine's? Uh, yeah. Ooh. Let me find him. Pain. Show you now. Did you leave or did he no, leave? I left. Oh, that's yeah. all right then. Yeah, so yeah. Actually, cool. not him. Oh, in protective then. Yeah. All right, let me find yeah. you, Najee. I thought you just got to smash the glass out, all sorts. <laughs> oh, um, so, also, I know a lot of people would love to know, like, your because your best memories over the years, because you've been going for, for such a long time. Mm-hmm. So, I'd love to know a few memories of yours from the tour mm-hmm. recently mm-hmm. and before that, of like what you guys kind of stand out in your heads of like, that was a sick thing to do. Okay. Uh, let me go first and it'll be the one it'll be the most recent one for me just to know that we sold out 26 arenas across the country like with all the fans Damn. came out and balls, you know sure. i feel like that's like gonna be one for me that's gonna be yeah. Yeah. held there moving forward 402s yeah. that was the killer yeah they, they said they said yeah they said hey do you want to try put one more and i said like, keep going go to six go to seven and then they said to yeah. me no hey why don't why don't we we can you know we the maddest thing was we yeah. can sorry to cut you far but we can we can um we can scrap the 402s and do one big show in the Emirates Stadium. How about that? And I was like, um, maybe. I said, do you know what? We, we, three times. Do you know how mad that is? Yeah, because <laughs> it was a, it was we were there option. having those conversations. But but a couple months before that, someone told our booking agent, do you think they can, can, they can, they're going to do that? I don't think they'll do a Shepherd's Bush Empire. Really? Yeah. Excuse we me. actually got, we actually Where is got, that human like, we being? can actually say this now. There was an agent that we had and we ended up swapping agents at the last minute because okay. the first agent didn't believe that it was going to sell as well as it did. Right, okay. Um, they thought we'd we'll get like a Shepherd's Bush yeah, Empire and or something. Yeah, we kept longing huh? the release yeah. of the what? announcement. So who, where, and they what? were like, hey, we don't want to do this with you anymore. Yeah. And then afterwards when it dropped, they were like, we know from that the inside is, that they were like, sure oh, you guys, no. that feeling yeah, of course. insane to know. Yeah. Like, you knew all along in your gut, like, yeah, this man, is listen, do it. listen, the fans always go hard for end ups. Mm-hmm. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And we've, oh, got a, and we've got a core fan base, and mm-hmm. we have, we feel like they know us, and we feel like we, mm-hmm. we, we do this for them as well, you know, and we, mm-hmm. yeah. we have a purpose when we make music. And, you know? and another reason that we didn't end up putting more on is because we're doing the summer tour. So yeah. we decided to save it yeah, yeah. and then take it to parks in the I summer. So now we, we're doing so a summer doing tour. Summer? Tickets are available. We're doing it everywhere okay, in sick. London. Gunsbury Park It's going to be okay, huge. Sick. Yeah, 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 listen, even huge. up like Belfast and all them places. Yeah, we've we, well, we like, sold we'll out like, Belfast. We've been like Nigeria. Custom House Square. like So we just take the whole square inside the town centre. It's like 20,000 people. And just so loads to hang off then. Yeah, loads to hang It's 32,000 Belfast. It's done. Is this how you book a venue? You go, okay, you on Google Earth going, what can I jump off? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, you're like, where can I park my bus to have a chamomile tea? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> I, 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 I,